Welcome to On the Couch. I'm Maria Velasquez. And I'm Kondai Vera. AKA Project K, AKA Dark Navel, AKA Baby Mama's Best Friend. I was not waiting for that. What were you waiting for? For you to introduce the topic. Oh, uh, the topic today is crazy people. <laughs> crazy people. Specifically of the female gender. So we have a burning question. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. What do women mean when they say it's fine? They mean. You're dead. <laughs> I'm trying to put it in like the simplest form, like most explanatory form. You did. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna nose me. <laughs> That's what she means. When she says, it's fine. You're gonna nose me. Mm. I can't even. <laughs> this is true though. All right, so you, as a man, mm -hmm. you obviously messed around with your women. Now she's, a, she's like, what? Well, you know what, it's fine. <laughs> there is a friend of mine, every time, like any sort of conflict, she just be like, no, it's fine. I'm just like, it's not fine. Because you literally two seconds ago was protesting. Now you're saying it's fine. What do you want to do? Well, you don't want to do something, oh God. <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. when we say it's fine, mm -hmm. it's like we've given up on stupidity. <laughs> We're like, whatever, man. Whatever tickles your boat. So what is the safe procedure? How should a man proceed when a woman says it's fine? No, honey. Mm -hmm. I know it's not fine. Please tell me how I can make the situation right. Because you know, at the that, end of that, the day... That's a trigger for more craziness, right? When you start speaking in your calm voice to a woman, when you start, when a woman is losing her mind and telling you it's fine, and you come here and be, woo, brah, woo. Okay, but by the time we say it's fine, we've already lost our head, and then we've given up because you're not getting what we're trying to say. So we're saying, okay, fine. It's fine. Yeah. But here's the thing, I've had fights where it was, you don't give me a chance to be angry. Because the minute I get angry, you want to resolve it. So what you just did... <laughs> What's this person? <laughs> oh, tell you that. Snitching. I hey, snitching. But you will snitch. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what you just did is exactly what I used to do. No, no. I don't do that no more. When we say it's fine, it means that it's not fine. I'm not talking for a woman now. I'm not talking for a woman. I'm talking about myself, okay? It's not fine. It means like, for instance, I would have given up. Like, I, I tried to, you know, make reason. You're not listening to me. Yeah. So I'm instead of this, I'm going to sleep. Or I'm going to eat. Or I'm going to do whatever I have to do. So you go do it. Makes you feel uh, how did, happy. How did food get into that show? I always eat. I'm always eating. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and also I understand that you and I are not going to talk <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> for a little bit. For a little bit. So what is the correct procedure? Because what you're telling me doesn't work. I know that for a fact. Okay, so I don't know, because that would work for me. Like, if you came to, if if I said, listen, it's... Why are you angry? I'm going to say that. <laughs> no, you can't say that. So I have to let you be angry. die. <laughs> you get, like, things will be thrown at you. Don't say that, ever. Why are you angry? <laughs> it's our prerogative to be angry. <laughs> okay, so what, so what if I said something like, okay, I can tell you're not okay right now. Even though you're saying it's fine. Not in that voice, because that's like cynical. You see, you see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. No, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? Cynical. I was my calm, collected, let's fix things voice. I told him cynical. I'm not being cynical. No, you have to match the level of attitude that I'm having. But you're angry. <laughs> no, but the time I said I'm fine. <laughs> you're not fine. But I've dropped a few levels of <laughs> anger. <laughs> Though you just say, listen, hun, 
I understand that you are upset. I did wrong. Like this. I don't you feel do like. That. Chop your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. They're doing this. This is gonna be a bad idea. Because it made you do this. I understand that you're upset, mm. and I know that it's my fault because I should have I should have done things differently. But let me make things right now. What if it's not my fault? You just take the blame. <laughs> you just take the blame. Do you want to see tomorrow? You want to see the sun? <laughs> Do you? You know, when a woman says, it reminds me of this movie with Chris Rock. I think it's called Head of State. And they say, we want you to run for president. And he's like, of what? <laughs> of the United States. Of what? <laughs> of America. Which America? Because <laughs> you don't believe her when she's saying it's okay. <laughs> I feel like I felt because when they were talking, like that's how I feel like when a woman says, I'm not angry. Firstly, it's I want to know why you made us angry in the first place. People get bad. Like we had this discussion where we're talking about how when two people live together and they come from different homes, they're always going to fight. They're always going to fight? There's going to be conflict. When you live, when you are two There's going to be conflict? Yes. When you are two people who come from two different ways of life. Yes. And then you are now put into the same household and you must now deal with things together. There's going to be friction and conflict. Yes, but I mean, like, you, there's something called compromise. Yeah, it could be something as simple as the toilet seat thinking or the no, way... No, you know how I feel way, about that. Or the way you squeeze the toothpaste. Or the way you leave the soap after you shower. I have solutions for everything. Of course you do, but those solutions may not be the solutions of the other person. Yeah. One solution, get out. Pack <laughs> <laughs> your bags, get out. That's your point. And then there's a fun. Then you're like, then you're like, but it's just the toilet seat. You can put it down. You see, put it down. Yes, you can do the same thing. No, why don't you do it? It's not a problem. When I get there, it's down. I pick it up. Do I complain about it? No. But you want to complain. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. There, fine. There. Do you see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Something as simple as that. Then a whole reenactment for you. Pack your bags, get out. <laughs> <laughs> but do you hear what I'm saying? Like, what must a man do to be okay? And stop breathing. <laughs> stop breathing. <laughs> no, stop breathing. Okay, wait. <laughs> what? How? Maybe, maybe rather let's do this. How do we stop women from saying it's fine? I think that's the better solution. Be better men. Know our trigger points. Know not to irritate our trigger points. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Maria's talking nonsense now. I'm done. <laughs> Bye. Peace.